Hey everybody, today in this video I'm going to be installing an oil catch can on my N46B engine for a 1A10i. Now, the tools you're gonna need for this is a T20 Torx bit, an eight millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter socket, or you can use these screwdriver attachments like I've got here. You may need an Allen key or another Torx bit, um, depending on how you mount the oil catch can. My oil catch can that I got uses these uh, four millimeter hex drive um, bolts, and I'll show you the mounting system. Now, I decided to mount the catch can to the airbox. I just drilled some small holes here with a groove on the side so I can slot it in that way, and I'll show you how it mounts. So you may be able to get away with mounting the catch can to the existing studs here, um, depending on where your aircon gas is located, but I found the easiest spot was right here. It goes just like that, and means that the lines coming out are close to where they go back into the intake. The inlet of the oil catch can mounts up to the PCV um, outlet on the, uh, the valve cover. I'll show you that later. So let's mount it up. There it is, all mounted. Now the next step is you need to take off all this cowling over the engine. Um, for that, you're gonna need a eight millimeter socket. You take off that screw there, that one, and then the same on these two sides. Then you take off these covers and there's bolts under, I'll show you here. There's just clip there, clip on the front. You should be able to jiggle it off like that. And then there's a eight mil here and same on the other side. So here I'm taking off the cowl. So you'll need to unclip this ambient air temperature here. Um, you may need a screwdriver just to pry up on the tab, but it should be pretty simple. Just move that out of the way. Um, then there's these two cable holders here. You just pull out the bottom one. Then to remove it, you just need to pull up and kind of jiggle it out. Just like that. So here's where you can take off the pre-existing breather. Um, this clip is a bit tricky to get off. Um, sometimes it can break, but you just squeeze the sides and pull out, just like that. Um, I've had mine off before, so it's not too difficult. And then this connector here, there's another wire. Just pry up on the tab and pull it out. get the screwdriver for this. Okay, there you go. That connector's now free. And you get your T20. There's two bolts here, or screws. Make sure not to drop them. There's one. And two. Next, to take off the hose, this side will already be free. You just want to twist and pull, and it should come out easy like that. So, due to the placement of my catch can, I can't use this hose. It's just too too far, and the fittings aren't the best, um, as you can see. The hose is made of plastic. Um, I'll show you how to remove these OEM fittings and use a different hose. I'll be using this hose that I got from the local parts store. 
Um, it's a 14 millimeter oil catch can tube and it should fit these fittings perfectly fine. Um, I might need to double clamp them with hose clamps. Now, in order to remove these hoses, um, it's a lot easier if you use a little bit of heat. So that's why I've got the heat gun here. You can use a hairdryer if you don't have one and you're just gonna wanna heat the area where it joins. You can get your pick tool under there and sort of massage all the way around and just twist the fitting off. Now for this, I'm gonna be using medium heat um, just in order to not you know, melt the plastic hose um, and not burn this heat shielding. There you have it. And now you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing on the other side. There you go. That one was a bit tricky. Now, before you go clamping your new hose on there, you're gonna to wanna to clean any residue off. There's a bit of oil on there. Just get a rag. Um, degreaser if you really, if it's really dirty, but this should be fine. There you go, it is new. Same with this one. Now if you see with this one, I did get it a little bit hot. Uh, the focus is there and melted the flange, but it should be okay. Now you can see for these fittings, this 14 millimeter size hose is perfect. Um, to mount it on, you're just gonna wanna get it started and then twist and push until it's over those ribs and pressed up against that. So just continuing with the mounting, um, I ended up using a little bit of degreaser just to slide it on, it's being tough. Um, you can also heat up this hose, um, get it more malleable, but you have to be careful. Um, you just get the hose clamp, goes on there, um, and a Phillips head and crimp that down, smack bang in the middle. There you go, that's not going anywhere. Now you just wanna clip that back on and measure up how far it is from the catch can to the outlet of the valve cover. As you can see, I've routed the line where it originally goes. Um, and you're gonna wanna leave just a little bit of excess, not too much. Um, find out where you need to cut it. And I'm just gonna use scissors for this. It's not the cleanest cut ever, but it'll work for this application. 
out. I chose to feed the line through the original um, hose cover just in order to sort of blend it in a little bit. You'll see the tip there, but the rest of the window trim will cover all of that. Now for fitting your hose to the inlet of the oil catch can, you're gonna wanna slip your hose clamp on just like that. Um, you just route this where I want it. And just simply slip it on. Um, I think these fittings are either half inch or three eighths. I'm not quite sure, but I'll have links to all the equipment I use in the description of the video. So just snug it on like that and pull your clamp up on the fitting. Um, might also just pull this sleeve up. So next you wanna do the outlet to the intake, just like that. Um, mount it back up using the T20. Silver screws just like that. Get your clip back on there, the electrical plug. So the other side's all good. It is a little bit tight. There you go, you can see that. Then just route the remaining hose back under and where you want it. mine up just so that there are no real large kinks um, once there's pressure it should sort itself out but um yeah just making sure that it's a nice bend like that don't want any kinks so it goes from there around and straight in there and that will all be hidden by the cowling anyway all right so before you put all the window cowling back on just test it rev it up um, I'm gonna have to fix this hose and twist it under the, uh, the hose clamp just to make sure it's not kicked back up. Um, and you can check that it's all sealed. Here I've got the dipstick. When I, when I take it off, you should be able to feel suction there. Um, I'm running it without the breather for now. Um, I don't think I really need it. But just check there's no blow by. Feel that sucking as well. It should be all good. Now you're just going to want to mount it all up, reverse of what you just did. I'll just give it a rev for you. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and comment. Um, comment what you want to see in the next video. This is one of my first installation videos, so if you have any tips for me, just let me know. But hope you enjoyed, um, and feel free to ask any questions.